Hello guys, today's video is not a tutorial, just to tell you that uh, uh, the 2D the game that I was doing before has to be updated to Unity 5 and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to click on open another and find that, find that project. And once I got to the folder of the project, here is the project. Here is the folder of the project, so if I click it, it says here that you have to upgrade, blah blah blah. Yes, I want to upgrade. It will upgrade and it will also then tell that something that about the UI being all wrong and whatnot. So yes, I made a backup. And after that it will open the game. And let's open just a scene over here. And if I play and move around you can see that the button floats around. And that's because of a the a thing that came with came with the um, Unity 5, which is it made the animator to be by default with the uh, root motion activated. So here in the animator, where it says root motion, just uncheck it, and then the game will work just fine. As you can see, and. As you can see, also changed a bit the animations. For example, the cat colliders were uh, were smaller, and we're going to change that now. So, in the player animator, and we're going to change to, that, to do that. We're going to change the animations of the uh, the kitten animations of the player. So, go into the animation window, and while you're, you have the player selected, and find the kitten moving and kitten idle. So, for example, and as you can see, it says here that the colliders are missing, they are actually not missing, they are here but somehow the conversion was not well done so just delete that and you can also delete this and now I'm going to click on here to start animating and as you can see that's the cat over there so I'm going to change the, the collider to be like so Oops. like so and I can also change the circle collider a bit so let me change maybe the offset to go a little bit up like that you know it's fine save and now you have to do the same with the kitten idle so delete this collider stuff click on here to start animating the ball, the ball change it to the right and a bit up and the box put it a bit up and over here and over here click control s to save or to stop animating and now you'll see that the collider of the kitten is fine so as you can see now it's smaller just like we wanted and that's basically it uh, to end this video, I'm just going to tell you that um, in the near future, I'm going to make some tutorials about blinking because the blink that I had was just horrible. And before that, I'm going to clean up this clean up this project because we have some stuff here that's updated and it's not actually used. For in, for instance, this door we don't even use it, and you know stuff like that. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.